Today's show is special because it's all about you. It's all about audiophiliac viewer systems. Yeah, it's your stuff. <laughs> so whether it's new or vintage or tube or solid state, big, little, analog, digital, reel to reel, old things, it's phenomenal. I am so privileged to see, have over the years, having seen thousands and thousands of pictures of your systems. So every now and then I get to do an entire episode of just your stuff. So, uh, oh, and if you want to be included in future episodes, because I also do this in many episodes of, you know, with reviews and stuff like that, please send pictures with descriptions in the same email to me at audiophiliac at mail.com. The address is on the screen right now. But without any further ado, let's see what you got. Okay, so we're going to kick things off with Eric and his wall of Tecton speakers. He's got a set of Tecton Moabs, also Tecton Pendragon. Those are the front ported ones. And then uh, an SVS subwoofer below the center channel speaker, which I believe is also a Tecton. And next there's Tom from Sacramento, California. His dog, Yuna, is in the picture. He wishes he could listen to music with Yuna's ears. Anyway, he has Harbeth C7 ES3 speakers. He's had them for over 10 years. They've been his one constant. He's switching everything else around. Right now, he's switching between a few affordable vintage amps, but right now, it's his nicely restored Kenwood KA5700 from 1978. Then there's Dean. He is from Portugal. He's 51 years old and he's been in the audio game for a long time, since he's 15 or 16 years old. He built those Clips La Scala clones. Hey, there's Bobby. He lives in Massachusetts and he's been in the hobby since he was 22. The only thing he can remember from back then is his amp, which was a Scott Quadraphonic. Right now he's using a Conrad Johnson CA200 control amplifier Esoteric SA60 SA CD player, Isotech Evo 3 Aquarius power conditioner. The speakers are Focal Sopra number no. one with dedicated stands, and there's also on the bottom end a JL Audio F110V2 subwoofer. John sent in this picture of his KLH Model 9 electrostatic speakers, and he's running them with a vintage. Audio Research Electronics. Shane is from Geelong, Victoria, Australia. His speakers are Wilson Audio Alexia in Seafoam Green. The amps are Plinius SA103 monoblocks, making 730 watts per channel into four ohm loads. Preamp is a Plinius Hotero. The DAC is a Luxman DA06 CD player, Plinius CD101. Turntable is an acoustic signature challenger with HANA EL moving coil cartridge. I like David's minimalist approach to audio. He's running a name Unity Atom amplifier with Klipsch Cornwall 4s. That's it. Henrik is 49 years old and he has been a music lover and an audiophile for 25 years. He lives in Denmark. His amplifier DAC is a Griffin Diablo 120. CD transport is a CEC TL5. And the speakers are Audio Vector R1 Arit. Paul, Paul lives in London, and this is his system. His speakers are Wilson Banesh Act C60s. The sub is also Wilson Banesh. It is a Taurus infrasonic generator and with a Taurus amplifier. The amp is a Musical Fidelity M3 Nuvista. Phono stage EAR834P. Turntable is an SME15 with an SME4 tonearm. Cartridge is a Lyra Helicon. Headphone amp is an SPL Phonator 2. This would stop me in my tracks. This is, these are Niles speakers. These are Genesis G2s with ribbon mid-ranges and ribbon tweeters and eight 12-inch servo control subwoofers, four in each column. The preamp DAC is a PS Audio Stellar and he has two PS Audio BHK 300 monoblocks. 
The turntable is a Microseki DDX1000 with two tone arms, a Jelco 850, and a Sumiko Premier MMT. Cartridges are a Sumiko Bluepoint and also a Denon 103. Phono stage is a PS Audio GCPH, and the CD player is a PS Audio Perfect Wave Transport. Streamer is a Blue Sound No. 2. This one comes from Hao, and I'm sure I'm mispronouncing your name, and I apologize. And I apologize to everyone in this video whose names I mispronounce. I'm doing the best I can. Anyway, Hao is running a Wilsonton R800i 300B integrated amp with upgraded Pisphane tubes. The speakers are Bowers & Wilkins 805 Nautilus. Uh, there's an Oppo UDP203 he's using as a CD transport. Is a PS Audio Digital Link 3 DAC, Foundation Research LC 100 line conditioner, and a Blue Sound No 2i for streaming. And how lives in Toronto, in Canada. A lot of Canadian uh, audio files popped up this time. This next one comes from Sean. He lives in Vancouver, that's also in Canada. He has a Riga Planer 6 turntable with a Sumiko Blackbird cartridge. Vienna Acoustics Phono 1, Phono Preamp, Denifreps Pontus 2 DAC, Macintosh MA6600 Integrated Amp, two REL T7i subwoofers, a pair of KEF R3 stand mounts, and also a pair of Totem Tribe Towers. He's also made his own room treatments. He also did his rack and his speaker stands all DIY. Paul is next and he is another Canadian his speaker consists of KEF 1042 reference speakers, also a B&W DB1 subwoofer, Paradigm Prestige 1000 subwoofer, Class A CA 2300 amp, Class A CP 800 preamp, Oppo UDP 205 SA CD player. There's also a Denifreps Pontus 2 DAC, DCS Network Bridge Clock, PS Audio P10 Power Plant Power Regenerator, Vio Acoustic Room Treatments, Felix Audio Euphoria Tube Headphone Amplifier, and Focal Utopia Headphones. Wow, more, more amazing systems. You guys have the best stuff. Ryan is 25 years old. He lives in San Antonio, Texas and he plays bassoon. Anyway, his speakers are Klipsch RP600M. Turntable is a clear audio concept wood with a satisfied black tone arm. Cartridge is a Hanna SL. Phono stage is a Pathos In The Groove headphone amp, which also serves as a preamp, is a Pathos Arium. The headphones are Grado RS2E and Fostex T60RP. Those are planar magnetics. The tape deck is an Onkyo Integra, and the amp is an Onkyo A9010. The cabinet and speaker stands are homemade and out of walnut, uh, zebra wood, and other exotic woods. Shmulek lives in Israel, and he has got uh, quite the system. He is a fan of high-res multi-channel music, and he has a large collection of SACD CDs, DVD audio, and Blu-rays. But take a look at those monster Polk Audio SDA SRS 2.3. Those are the main speakers. He also is using Polk Audio bookshelves as surrounds. The power amp for the front, for the front speakers is the Accurus A250. And then for the surrounds, a Quad QSP. There's also a Marantz AV receiver that I think he's using as a preamp. That's an AV7703. DAC is a Denifreps Pontus II, and last but not least is a Cambridge Audio CXUHD Universal Disc Player. This is, these are pictures of Richie's very satisfying system, he says. The amp is a Prima Luna Dialog Premium HP. The speakers are electrostatics. Those are Martin Logan Ethos. The sub isn't pictured, but it's a REL S2. The turntable is a Riga RP10. Phono is a Riga Aria. The CD player is a Riga Saturn R. 
streaming is Blue Sound Node N130. And for vinyl click and pop removal, a Sugar Cube SC1 Mini. <laughs> he says, don't judge me. I'm not judging you. Next up is David C. And he has Zoo Union speakers. His turntable is a Riga Planner 3 with an Audio Technica VM 540 ML as a shit Manny phono preamp, a Menge, I think that's how you say it, mini EL34 tube integrated amp. The stand is custom made by a family member. Oh, and there's also a pair of Ohm Walsh 2 omnidirectional speakers in the background. Caleb is running Klipsch Cornwall 4s with custom grills. Turntable is a VPI classic signature with Fatboy gimbaled 10 inch tone arm and the synchronous drive system hiding under the console. For a cartridge, there's a Soundsmith Carmen Mark II, a Soundsmith MMP3 phono stage. The DAC is a Denifreps Ares II. Uh, there's also an SMSL VMV for solid state casual listening rather than wearing out his tubes, and a line magnetic 210 LA300B single-ended amplifier. Also pictured is a Fisher-Price turntable from 1978 that he had as a kid. This is Morton's system, and he says it's in an attic, but some, somehow it's all worked out very, very well. His speakers are Tecton Double Impact. There is an Audio Research Ref 75 amp running four KT150 tubes. The line stage is a Bryston BP26 with a separate power supply unit, the MPS2. Phono stage is also Bryston BP1.5. The turntable is a band driven. I think that means belt. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a Michelle Techno Deck with a HANA SL cartridge and a Riga 5 arm. The CD player is a vintage Denon DN961FA that he got for approximately $70 from the National Radio Broadcasting from NRK. There's two subwoofers in the corner. They're both RHEL Quakes, also purchased used. Hey, Roche is running Wilson Sasha speakers. His amplifiers are monoblock BAT Rex. Preamp is a Class A Omega Mark II. The SACD player is EMM Labs XDS1 V2. Phono stage is a ModRide PH150, and that's hooked up to an Oracle Mark VI turntable with a triplanar tone arm with silver wiring. Cartridge is a Lyra Etna SL. Now, Jason is running a VPI Prime Signature turntable with an EMT Jubilee Platinum 6 cartridge. Turntable is a Technics SP10 Mark II with a Koetsu Rosewood Signature cartridge. Lampazator MC2 Phono Preamp. There's also an Elikit 8600 with Lundell Power Transformers and Western Electric 300B tubes. For digital, more Lampazator, the TRP DC DAC preamp, and also a Lampazator Pacific Integrated Amp, all feeding Vapor Sound Aurora speakers. Jason lives in Philly, by the way. Jeff says hi from Derby, Kansas. He has an Emotiva Base X TA100 stereo integrated amplifier, TX CD P650 single disc CD player, a Yamaha natural sound, RX-485 stereo receiver, purchased new in 1996. The speakers are Emotiva T0 Plus that he purchased right after I did my review in March 2020. And also Paradigm Model 3 SE Mark II, purchased new in 1996. Sean has an Ariston turntable with Audio Mods Series 6 arm and a Dynavector XV1 cartridge. There's a Luxman L550AII integrated amplifier, and the speakers are B&W Nautilus 805 with stacked ASW600 subs. Sean, by the way, he lives in K. 
Canada. <laughs> More Canada. And that kind of wraps things up for today. Now, I'm going to put in a bunch of still pictures. I just had so many I could get to them all. And I'm going to mention, as I usually do, that if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please consider joining my Patreon. The address is on the screen right now. And uh, you could check out my podcast, which is back up, the Audiophiliac Podcast. There's a link to the podcast directly below. And uh, if you just dig the channel, hit the like button. If you like these videos, hit the like and also subscribe if you, if you feel like it. I don't want no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Anyway, that is it for today. Thanks again for watching. My name continues to be Steve Guttenberg and it's very true that I am the Audiophiliac. Bye-bye guys.